as I got closer, I, you know, I noticed the hair. That hair, that was the big key point. Noticing that it was a human being was his hair. Because <laughs> before, really, I just thought it was a dummy, you know, some kind of mechanism. But when I saw his hair, I knew it was a human being. <laughs> so I ran. I ran as fast as I could to the nearest house and I called the police. Um, you expect it. You expect this kind of injuries to come from a car going down a hill at 80 miles an hour. You expect to see gross injuries from something like that. This horrendous, horrific thing. Uh, but you don't expect to see that from someone doing this to another person. The ambulance report said it was a beating, so we knew. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> if there was anything, I would have done it, you know, but there was nothing. I was trying to wake him up like, hey, hello, wake up! But he didn't move. He didn't flinch. He didn't anything. Matt's beating and hospitalization and funeral focus worldwide attention on hate. Good is coming out of evil. People have said enough is enough. I miss my son, but I am proud to be able to say that he is my son.